All right, just a really quick video. I want to show you guys a really cool script that was recently added to the new Python script section in Cyril. And what this script does is it will identify every single galaxy within your image. And when I say every single galaxy, I mean galaxies that you didn't even know were in your image. Some were so faint that maybe you just thought they were stars. Some that were so faint that you really even can't see them. But the script will show you that there is, in fact, a galaxy there. So it's really cool. It's really fun. Just want to take a few minutes to show everybody how to use it. My name is Rich, and you're watching Deep Space Astro. All right, so first thing we need to do is get the script installed. So we're gonna come over to our burger menu, click on get scripts, and the list down below, you're gonna look for galaxyannotations.py and just select it over here on the right and click apply. If we come up into scripts and Python scripts, you'll see the new script right there, galaxy annotations. This is a script that you would use after you're finished processing. So two requirements, it has to be a fit format image as well as that image needs to have been plate solved. So where you have your working directory set does not matter, but that is going to be the location that it's going to create these PNG files for you. So you can change this to the working directory that you desire. Just know, like I said, wherever it's set, that's where these PNG files are going to be created. So. I am going to open up my NGC 3718 image. Like I said, completely processed and already plate solved. As we can tell down on the bottom here, our annotation button is available. And if I was to click on that, that's all I get for annotation. Um, also, if you right click on this button, it shows you the catalogs that are being used to create the annotations to identify the objects that are within your image. As you can see, it's only picked up two, but we know that there's other little tiny galaxies in and around here. And that's what the script is going to identify for us. So I'm going to turn off the annotation. We're going to come up into scripts, Python scripts, and then the galaxy annotations. Now, the first time you run this, watch over in the console. It'll take a few minutes. It's got to download some additional modules if they have not previously been downloaded. So just be patient with it. Once it's finished, you'll be presented with this window here. The title, it's going to pull from the image name that you currently have loaded. You can change that if you want. Logo, we'll come back to in a second. Overlay, when it annotates the image, this is the transparency strength of that overlay, so you can increase or decrease it. 0.6 seems to work well. The next option, load in serial, combined overlay table or none. Now, regardless of the option that you select, it is always going to create three PNG files for you. One is gonna be a table of the objects that it identified. The other one's gonna be an overlay, which is gonna be an overlay identifying the objects in your original image and combined is going to be a combination of overlay and table. This is literally just asking you what do you want to be loaded in Cyril. You also have none. So it'll just create again those three files, but it will not load any of them into Cyril for you. I'm just going to leave it on combined for now. The list below are all of the catalogs that it uses. This is the default selection. You can choose to select all of them. You can use the none button to deselect them all. Or you can come in here and do your own thing and unselect and, and select different catalogs that you wanted to use. If you mess around with this too much and you want to go back to the defaults, just click your defaults button and that's all you need to do, right? So we're just going to run with the default catalogs. We're going to tell it to load the combined image that it creates in Cyril and just click apply. Give it a minute or so and once it's done, it'll load our combined PNG file for us into Cyril. Okay, the script has finished and there's our combined PNG image. So if we zoom up on top here, this is our original image annotated for us and then each of these other little galaxies that it has detected. It has numbers below each of them. So for example, number eight here, if I was to come down and look at the table, there's number eight and it displays it with the catalog number. So it does that for each object that it found in your image. It'll create a thumbnail for it in a table format. Like I said, it always creates three files. So if I jump over into my working directory, here's the annotated version that we currently have loaded in Cyril. And then these are the other two. This is just the overlay, which is this top part here. And then this is just the table, which is the bottom part. So I could either open these up in Cyril if I wanted to, or any other image program. If we open this up in the photos, there's our overlay. If we go over to the table, there's just our table. And then again, here's the one that we have opened up in Cyril. So if we come back over into the script, you can also have it insert your logo into the table as well. So if I was just to grab my Deep Space Astro logo, one of these guys here, this is the PNG file. So obviously the script is not going to work on a PNG file. So if I go back and open up my original fit file that we started with and with my logo in place, click apply again, 
it'll go through and it'll regenerate all three of those images for us. But this time the table will contain my logo. So there we go. Same image as before, but now my Deep Space Astro logo is inserted down in the bottom right hand corner of the table which uh, is pretty cool. I kind of like that. So one more thing, and let me again open up my original fit image. If we select all, just to show you what the script is capable of beyond just the default settings and click apply, we'll give that a minute or two to finish and come back and show you everything that it discovered within this image. And there we go with all the catalogs enabled. You can see how crazy this got. I mean, <laughs> it's just amazing, right? All, I would have had no idea that there are actually What's the final countdown here? 120 galaxies in my image that I took and it identifies each and every one of them. Some of them are so faint, you can't even see them, but it knows they're there. So really cool script. I like the overlay particularly because you can print this out. You maybe use it for some outreach or just simply posting on Facebook to give people an understanding of how much is actually out there, even beyond the stuff that we can see with our telescope sometime. Just a really fun script. So pretty cool, right? Serial's just getting better and better. We're starting to get Python developers, like the person that put together the galaxy annotation script that I just showed you. And so the Tools are coming. People are starting to contribute to the community. Fun and exciting times for Cyril. So before we go, I just want to say thanks to all my members here on YouTube and at buymeacoffee.com. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you want to see your name scrolling at the end of every video, you can become a member on either one of those two platforms. Links are in the description. As always, I appreciate everybody's time watching my videos, sharing, liking, subscribing. Have any questions, leave a comment. I'll see you in the next video in clear skies.